Hey guys, how is it going? It is Clary Berry and sorry about this. I am here today to bring to you the Sagittarius reading. We are doing this reading for October 13th and 14th, basically um, when we will have our moon in Virgo. So I hope you guys are doing well. We're just going to jump right in here. Okay. With this Virgo moon. Okay. We might be feeling in a way kind of in this, okay calm in a way kind of dreamy stage but very focused on productivity in some way okay focus on productivity be careful of being overly critical of yourself and others okay you might be working on certain projects, could be around the home, could be around your health as well, cleanliness, home, things like that. Um, okay, so we're going to get into the sun opposition Mars that we have both on the 13th and the 14th. <clears throat> Excuse me. Got to wet the whistle. Okay, so sun opposition Mars. Okay. We might be feeling out of out of control, just wanting to kind of explode. You know, anger that has been held in is going to be let out, okay? And so be careful how that comes across, you know, emotionally. It's better to try to let it out in a positive way, in a controlled positive way, than allow, you know, your anger just to kind of end up causing you to have more of like an emotional meltdown of sorts okay just be careful for that because you know there it is a time for arguments and conflict in general okay and be wary of getting caught up in this feeling like oh you know again life is out to get you or anything like that because that's only going to cause more emotional strife and we know that a lot of this is going on right now we're using for our own higher good a lot of us are going through awakenings, emotional awakenings right now. Okay. And that's why the, that's why the astrology is so difficult right now because we're learning so much so fast. Okay. So we also have sun opposition Jupiter. So again, be careful of these subconscious attitudes and your attitudes directly affect your action. You know, your thoughts really determine how you act and what you expect. And that emotional expectation really does determine what comes back to you in life. We know from quantum physics that we control the atoms by observing and interacting with them, right? So therefore, we know that all of this law of attraction, holistic law of attraction stuff, as outlined in my program down below, which also goes through the shadow work and the inner child healing to get you into union with yourself and others and your purpose, okay? So what we're all about here, we're rocking this, you guys. We don't need to have any fear, okay? Let it go. You can clear out all of this BS. This is the great news. This is not just life attacking us. We attract certain things to ourselves, and we can stop attracting things and start attracting new things, okay? And it all has to do with our inner selves. Our thoughts and our beliefs are so powerful, so powerful, okay? So again, a lot of change, okay? A lot of changing attitudes, a lot of changing actions. We may be feeling like we need to um, almost like kind of support ourselves. There's a lot of maybe, especially with Sagittarius already being, you know, in Jupiter and having those tendencies, you know, we might be really lacking patience and really, you know, lacking discipline right now. So beware of that. Um, and it's just a matter of, you know, as usual, really understanding where that true self-worth really comes from and knowing that it doesn't come from other people. That's not what truly fulfills us and makes us happy. We need to make sure that we're focused on what does. Because again, if we're not focused on what does make us happy, then who else is going to do it? You know, we need to look out for ourselves. We need to look out for our inner child as well. Okay. So a lot of this to me seems like just cleaning up, cleansing out a lot of these 
negative, negative patterns, mental patterns, mostly, and emotional as well. Okay, use the changes. Okay, they're here. They, if you believe they're here for a reason to bring, you know, to bring in a new cycle to help you turn the corner, you know, again, it's that energy of, you know, oh, I had to move, so I just gave away all my stuff if I wanted to be a minimalist. You know, it's like doing it the easy way. Oh, you messed this up. Okay, now there's, oh, now we're going to deep clean it because it was so messy. Now we got to get in there and clean it. It's like really take care of this. Really focus on how we think about life, how we think about ourselves, how we think about our people, our roles, our jobs, our self-worth, because Saturn is also square, uh, the sun, okay, which we may be having these frustrations, you know, all across the board and some hitting us in other, you know, realms than others. But balance is absolutely, you know, the important with the Libra, you know, sun energy. It's just like so important okay because there's just so much inner tension and sun square pluto as well so again we're balancing out the inner and the outer what are we doing with our lives you know and how are we able to work with others okay again there's this kind of build up of energy and there's a release of pressure if we're not changing something here if we don't choose another way if we don't go within and really get to the heart of the matter okay there's no more like this show off you know this is about deep you know again back to our own inner child that's how you get what you want what you truly want okay and we do have some positive aspects with our emotions you know right now a lot, again, a lot of emotional healing can be done. A lot of emotional like success, emotions helping you in a way to like get more practical about life, helping you to also communicate. Okay. Your emotions are very important, you know, so pay attention to them. Allow them to heal you. If you keep on thinking or coming back to something, you know, or being emotional about something, that's a sign, you know, you need to deal with it. And you'll just feel so much better when you do. You will feel so much better. It's, it's again, it's not about hiding the emotions and pushing them down and denying them. Absolutely not. It's about letting them through, feeling, and letting them guide you towards, you know, what you want to do to get that, to get that fulfillment. And we do have, of course, this is our grand trine in Capricorn. Okay, uh, excuse me, Grand Earth Trine. It is Jupiter, Capricorn, um, Taurus and Uranus, and Virgo in Venus. So a very balanced trine as well. Okay, and again, that is helping us to bring all of this together, to keep us grounded throughout all of this, and to change the structures, and to change, again, these beliefs, and these thoughts, and these patterns, habits that we all have in our lives that we have been in for so long, how we work, how we relate to others, how we believe almost like how lucky we even are and what kind of energy we are able to attract. So yes, studying the holistic law of attraction down in the program below is absolutely um, recommended. Again, always remember being gentle with yourself and not so critical and just allowing us to realize that we're going through these big changes. We're realizing we're having, you know, we should be easy on ourselves in certain ways while we're doing this work in healing. Okay. And just stay focused, stay focused. And again, stay grounded. Okay. There's a purpose and a mission that is coming through as well. Something again, that there's a lot of altruistic energy when you look at a lot of the squares that are going on that we do have cardinal t squares two of those and um this is for the 12th, 13th and the 14th as well the um mutable t squares and it's a lot of jupiter it's a lot of neptune it's a lot of pluto so again you know these surprises these imagination utilizing it and working with these new realizations that we're having to bring even more, you know, luck and abundance and goodness. Okay. Much love, many blessings. Be sure to check out, you know, your other planets as well, your personal planets and the, your people's personal planets as well. Okay. Thanks guys.
guys talk to you soon. Bye.